Hey there, Canaanites. Welcome back. We have a very special video today. Halo 5 unboxing. So we got Halo 5 here. We got the console here. I'll do a little bit of both. Starting off, of course, with Halo 5. And just to give you a sense of how big this is, if it wasn't obvious already, here's the Halo Reach. Gotta be careful because it's shaking my camera. But this is the Halo Reach one. It's got a bit of an upgrade. This thing's heavy. I mean, this doesn't have a statue of it anymore, but... Anyway. Let's do her. Alright. First bit of border here, so I can get it out. The steel book for the game that comes with the digital edition. I will have to reach out to Microsoft about that, but... Go. So, what do we got in here? Looks like pretty much everything short of the statue. <laughs> well, I mean, this is pretty much the case that Halo 5 uh, Limited Edition comes in, so yeah. Uh, got the Metal Earth. Oh my god, that is basically a sheet of metal. Holy crap. Todd was right. Just sheets of metal. That's the base right there. And then, oh, dear God, this is going to be a building project. Whew. I mean, there's instructions, but holy crap, this thing is. Whew. I... Whew. Okay. Okay. Way before I open those. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, guessing this is probably the download code. Most likely. Uh, free gold for a little bit. Gold trawl. What do we got here? Ah, Commander Locks Orders. Or, not Commander. <laughs> Spartan Locks Orders. So. They do feature, uh, they do feature our uh, name Musa on here, so that's pretty cool. So they list on um, all the, uh, right along here, they list all the uh, Spartan, ar the different armor variants they use, and the special purpose prowler. Uh, you are ordered to retrieve the following critical UNSC assets of value or interest pursuant to UNSC Security Council Directive 9901-002-S. Spartan Lock is designated leading acquisition lead acquisitions agent and shop opcom to nav logcom for duration of operation. Uh, as listed assets are classified as extremely hazardous. Yeah, Disposal and uh, dispo dis disposition of UNSC military assets is not authorized except in case of danger of the enemy capture or exploitation. Lead acquisitions agent is responsible for assessment of recovery options. Spartan Lock is authorized to use deadly force to limit further damage to UNSC property due to theft, misuse, destruction, or unauthorized transport. Fire only when aim when fire only aim shots. Warning shots are not authorized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a lot of interesting stuff there. Now, target dossiers. Oh, thank god I don't actually have to rip this one open like with Halo 4. It's a resealable package. Which are my favorite kind of packages. So, it's going to be kind of hard to see. So we have a target dossier, or a dos not target dossiers, but dossiers for each of the uh, Spartans. So we got dossiers for each of the Spartans. Uh, Lock here first. Uh, you know, all his basic information, a little bit of his uh, background there. Spartan Buck. Tanaka. 
and I mispronounced that horribly. Veil. And then, of course, <laughs> as would be expected, for the blue team, of course, you start off with Master Chief, which it's hard to see there, but I'll let you know his last name is Redacted, which, of course, it is. But, of course, when you go to the other ones, their last names are there, such as uh, Frederick Ellsworth. It's going to be a while, I think, before they reveal uh, the Spartan 2 last name. Yeah, the Spartan 2 last names. Or, uh, John 117's last name, what am I saying? Anyway, there's Linda. Keep showing the French side, I'm just thinking, I think. And last but not least, Kelly. So yeah, it's like front is, uh, front is English, back is French. Because. But that is what essentially comes in that steel book. Which is a very nice steel book, by the way. It looks good, it feels good got a nice weight to it, literally and figuratively. And now for the piece of resistance. Oh my god! Block has no head! Is Locke's head. So, yeah. That or that wonderful dead eye. There we go. That wonderful dead eye stare of the other head. Yeah. I'm definitely going to go with uh, the helmet. It's just a little more badass. But. Yeah, that is, that thing is really like dead eye. <laughs> Haunt your dreams. So there you go. And of course, you can have them facing off. Something like that, right? That, I don't know. There we go. Face it off. Or... As book as bookends. Yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out a place to put this. Sorry about all the shaking. There you go. There's the Halo 5 Limited uh, limited Collector's Edition. Be back in a second to do the council. Alright. We are back for the Halo 5 Council. Also comes with the steel book, I guess. Yep. Wonderful steel book, which basically contains the same stuff we already went over. Photos. Our lock. 
pocket controller, which oh, let's see all that. Oh, that is that's beautiful. Oh, look at that! Look at that thing! Look at that sexy thing! Let's move up on the table a bit. Get a better look. Get up! You don't even see that. Look at that! That is some beautiful work. And of course, to complement it, we have the the Master Chief controller here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I definitely don't regret these purchases. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this this uh, unboxing of Halo Five stuff. There'll certainly be more in the future as I get more Halo 5 stuff, which is the album, the limited edition album that was recently announced, so <laughs> I'll definitely be getting that to complement everything here. But until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. See you then. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.